So this concludes our section on space travel, exploration, and technology. Now, I know I've had a blast, bad puns included, but Paul, we've covered a lot, so what do you think are some of the big or main areas that we've explored? I guess the biggest thing for me is that when I was a kid and keenly watching space news, it was all seemed to be about rockets. And I think what we've hopefully demonstrated in this course is there's a lot more to it than just the rockets. There's the space law, the space medicine, the communications, above all the economics. Rockets are important, don't get me wrong on that. <laughs> uh, but uh, don't, if you just know about rockets, you're not going to build a space industry or colonize Mars. That's right. And I think with all the topics that we're now exploring of going into space and these sorts of things, the, this range of skill set is so important. You don't just need engineers. Again, they're important. Don't get me wrong. They help us build our toys. But we need all of this body of work. And as space becomes a bigger and bigger part of our everyday lives, that means more knowledge of these topics is going to be critical critical to not even just people like us, but almost the average person. It's a very exciting time to be thinking about space travel because the enormous drop in the cost of putting a kilogram into space is going to mean that over the next 10 or 20 years, the uses of space are going to widen dramatically. We've already seen it with things like the Starlink program. But when space becomes 10 or 100 times cheaper, a lot more people are going to be using it. So in some sense, I think we're just at the beginning of the space age. It was kind of like a false alarm with the Apollo with bucket loads of money. But now slowly and steadily, the technology has been improving until now it's starting to become economic to do things in space. It is. And so this is now changing what we can do, as it, not just exploration, but the technology, the visiting and the ideas, and also who can do it. It is not just the world of the two big or three biggest richest countries. Lots of countries are involved and companies, I, you know, high school students can now plan on building their own satellite to go do a high school science fair project almost, you know. So this is changing the way we act and behave on Earth in a, I think, hopefully, a very good way. So we hope you've enjoyed this section of the course. No matter what your future careers are going to be, we think that knowing about space travel is going to be increasingly important over the next 10 or 20 years and beyond that, simply because there's going to be so many more things that we can't even imagine now being done in space. So hopefully you are now prepared to play your part in this.